friend welcome to this channel my name is maverick from work with expert and in this video i'm gonna teach you how to recover one year old whatsapp messages all right so now um there is no trick to these there is no application that can help you solve this all right it's just a normal um whatsapp um stuff that you do not put mind to but it's very very effective all right so um please make sure to watch this video till the end so that you can understand fully how it works all right and before we go deeper please if you are new to this channel and you enjoyed this video kindly make sure to give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to use just one second to um, hit the subscribe button below because it is free and it motivates me to create more awesome videos like these just for you all right so now um so for this to work you need to hold us back up your messages all right you need to hold us back up your messages so if you've not been backing up your message for the past one year or backing it up every month then it will not work for you okay but let me just show you what i mean by you backing up your messages all right so if i should go to my whatsapp here okay here's my whatsapp so um to to check on back up let me just back it a little bit so you see here you see when you go to your settings you're gonna see chat accounts chat you click on this click on chat so you're gonna click on chat backup okay so once you click on chat backup you can see all right so um it's it's already my 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 um my whatsapp all is backup all right but now i just put it in um never okay so um to always back up your whatsapp you can see it's my own is a monthly now okay the reason why it's showing never is because it's not up to a month all right so when you back up your whatsapp messages you're gonna be able to um do this all right but if you've not back up your whatsapp messages then this will not work for you okay so you either have to be backing it up monthly for you to be able to recover a year of messages all right but if you're backing it up daily weekly then you'll be only you'll only be able to recover uh, monthly messages all right but if you've been backing it up all this while you will notice that um you have a lot of backup but i'm going to show you where you can see it all right but for now just know that you always have to back up your messages all right so you you connect your google account once you connect your google account it will ask you also you can back up over wi-fi or cellular all right so once you click on um wi-fi or cellular that means you can always back up with your mobile data even if um you are not connected to a wi-fi all right so that's how this backup works just go to your chat backups and always back up your whatsapp um data your messages um or anything that you know any activities going on in your whatsapp all right so that's how um you can do your backup and also to know where your backup is just go to your file manager all right here is my file manager here so you click on just go to your file manager um tab then i'm going to check on whatsapp here okay so here is my whatsapp so once you tap on whatsapp you're going to click on database okay databases okay so you can see here are my um, whatsapp um backups all right these are my whatsapp backups and you can see um i do delete them because i have to free my phone from um you know enough memory so i always delete them but you that you do not know maybe you've been backing up your messages everything and you know for the past one year you've been backing it up maybe you do it monthly but you do not know you have a lot of these backups all right but because i do delete them that's why you just i in fact i i just left this one because of this video all right i normally delete so that i can you know create more space on my phone all right and also if you do not need this but you always like you you realize that you are having a lot of memory um, um storage you're not i mean you are you're lacking memory storage on your phone you can just delete them all right so that's if you do not need previous data all right but for for the for the, for the purpose of this video let me just show you what i'm talking about all right so for the purpose of this video i just have to rename this first backup here all right normally it's 2021 but you can see i rename it to 2020 or something that's how it's gonna look when you have um now we're in 2021 okay we're in june 2021 but i just have to rename this to something like um i think july 2020 last year all right so now this one's uh the one here now that says um msg store um 2021 0603 that means 
um that's this backup was done on the third of june all right 2021 all right the one um before before it is second of june that's 2021 06 that's the date that the back it up all right so the one that you see below here that says msg source msg msg store um, db crypt 14 is the one ongoing all right they are still they, that's the current um stuff that are happening on my whatsapp and it's still an ongoing backup stuff all right so it's not yet done once it's done once it's finished backing it up it's gonna rename it to something of the date okay so this is how your backup goes so if you want to know backup or maybe it, let's say you're watching this video in 2020 and you want a backup of 2020 I mean you're watching this video in 2021 and you want a backup of maybe 2020 you're just gonna see the date okay just like this that i renamed the one at the top and if it's 2019 you're gonna see it and if you're watching it in 2022 whichever year you're watching this video um, you're just gonna see how um, it works all right so you're gonna see the dates there so that's how the back, uh, whatsapp does it all right but now let's say you want to recover a message which was done in yeah, you want to recover all the database of um you know last year right one year ago okay now we're in may i mean we're in june 2020 so let's say i want to recover um, um all my previous messages previous pictures you know anything messages of um um last year all right so and maybe it's in july all right so you can see this 2020 07 30 okay that's 30th of july 2020 so what i'm gonna do is that I'm, i need to rename this file okay i need to rename it all right sorry so i need to rename this file okay so and to rename it first thing i have to do is that i have to rename this ongoing file okay so i'll, I'll just tap on this ongoing file okay you you long press on it you long press it on this file then you tap on more okay depending on your phone okay just tap on my just tap on rename okay just just rename it right so i'm gonna rename it to something like um so something like um let me just rename it to new backup all right now the reason why i'm doing this is because I, I do not I, I, I do not want these um backups to keep on going all right I want to differentiate it from the um, the new backup like the 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 one the backup that I just want to um, create all right which is this one all right so I'm gonna long press on that previous year okay that I want to back up now so I'm gonna click on more and I'm gonna rename it um, and I'm gonna cancel all this date okay. So you cancel out the date, you cancel out the date, and I click on OK. Okay, so you see all the dates is cancelled. Okay, all the dates are cancelled. All right. So normally, if I do not do it like this and I try to rename it, um, you know, it's th this new um, this this one here is is bearing is is this is the name of this one here. All right. So if I should try to rename it to something of this, it won't work because there is an existing file that is having this name all right but because we've already renamed it to a new backup so now we can successfully rename it so now it looks like an ongoing backup all right it looks like an ongoing backup so if we should try to back it up on our whatsapp now and do the nursery things then we will be able to um we'll be able to, the whatsapp will easily detect this okay because that's the name it looks like an ongoing backup now in which it is um, the previous backups okay I believe you understand what I'm saying it's the previous backups okay not the new one but WhatsApp we think we think it's an ongoing one and that is what they will use as backup um, whenever when we you know we try to um, renew our WhatsApp okay so once you're done with this the next thing that you have to do is that you need to go to your Google Drive okay so you need to go to your Google Drive let me just on my data very quickly so you need to go to your google drive and um this is the this is the um email that i use for to back up my whatsapp okay so you, you once you once you're in your google drive you tap on 
the, the, the menu bar, then you tap on backups. Okay, so you can see here, here are my, here is the backup that is going on. So you're gonna tap on this three dotted um, line and you tap on delete backup, all right? But I'm not deleting it because I, I, I'm not ready to, you know, do the backup, all right? So once you click on delete backup, it's gonna delete the backups, all right? It's gonna delete all the current backups that are going on on your WhatsApp. So once you're done and you delete this, then the next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna go to your phone settings okay so you go to your phone settings once you delete that and you go to your apps and you go to once you once you click on how you click on whatsapp you okay or if you cannot see that you just tap on the see all see all applications that you have on your phone okay so I tap on WhatsApp and I tap on uninstall. Okay. So once you uninstall it from your phone, now you know you've already uninstalled the WhatsApp, right? So you now go to your Play Store. You will download the WhatsApp. Okay. So once you uninstall, you go to your Play Store or your App Store or wherever application that you used to the I mean website that you used to download your phone applications. And once you download, you now go there. You download it. Okay. So once you download it, you you know enter your phone number the necessary things and they will ask you to um, restore backups restore previous backups and you will now restore you click on restore previous backups so it is the backup it is this one okay it is this one that will be restored okay let's say for example this like i told you this day um let's say it's the 2020 backup last year so this is the backup that is going to show um in your um, WhatsApp all right so once you restore you click on restore you wait patiently and um, you'll be good to go all right but the reason why I do not um, want to do this is because number one um, this backup that I rename is not um, a one-year backup all right uh, it's just a um, few months ago I think all right so um, it's few months ago all right so um, that's how you can do it friend all right so just follow this process you can watch this video once more and um, you're gonna understand how it works all right so i believe you enjoyed this video please if you do give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to use just one second to hit the subscribe button below because it is free and it helps me to create more awesome videos like these just for you take care of yourself friend bye